Now, all of these habits are guaranteed ways to help you instantly fail your driving test. They're also likely to get you or somebody else seriously hurt. So whatever you do, do not follow these habits. In fact, I would try and do the opposite of everything I'm saying in this video. Now, welcome to 10 of the worst driving habits you can follow. My name's Josh, let's go. One, when you're driving forward, never look in your central mirror or your side mirrors. I mean, you're going straight ahead, hello? Who needs to look around them? The other benefit to this is you're not gonna see the police car behind you that's actually following you. Mm. Number two, when you're a passenger with your husband or, or your wife, the best thing you can do when you're lost is suggest that we stop and ask for directions. Or even better, if you question their, their ability to drive or follow directions, that really, really helps. So do it frequently. They may, may appear upset, but that's just them being, you know, macho to you, you know, just, uh, just keeping it up. Mm. Number three, when you're on the dual carriageway or, or motorway and there's two lanes or more, the best thing you can do is, is get into one of the overtaking lanes and, and just stay there really. I mean, all the flow of traffic is going in the normal driving lane, but you know, you wanna get out of the way, don't you? You know, so so why just, even though you're going slower than all of them, just, just stay in that overtaking lane. I mean, all the cars behind you might start getting upset and beeping you, but you know, so what? Hate is always gonna hate, hate, hate. Mm. Number four, never text and drive unless you are really, really good at it. Now, it's a well-known fact that texting and driving increases the chances of an accident massively. However, some people still claim that they're really, really good at it. So don't do it unless you're really, really good at it. Don't actually ever text and drive. Number five, tailgating people. If you don't know what tailgating is, tailgating is when you get right up someone's backside, you know? It's a really effective way to help them speed up and help you get them out of the way, you know? Yeah, it really upsets some people and, and it really affects their driving and it scares the crap out of some people, actually. Um, but, you know, it makes you feel good, so maybe you should just keep doing it. Mm. Number six, when someone's tailgating you, best thing to do, that's a really good opportunity to clean your front windscreen. Not only does it get your front windscreen sparkling clean, but it also increases the moisture content of their windscreen behind you. Thus, this increases the ongoing teamwork that you are now having with that person behind you. It's also really environmentally friendly. Win-win. Mm. Number seven, why do my motorcyclists always ride either on the left side of the lane or the right side of the lane and never in the middle of the road? I mean, it's selfish. Just because I'm ignorant and I don't seem to understand that all the oil spills and petrol spills are right there in the center of the road and they're probably gonna slide straight off the bike if they stay there. It's just, you know, rude. Mm. Number eight, does a stop sign really mean stop? Or is it an acronym for, you know, stop to observe police? I don't know. Mm. Number nine. Now this is a favorite that even I've had a friend that actually once told me this. Seatbelts are dangerous. If you have a crash with a seatbelt on, that can actually break your ribs. However, if you didn't have that seatbelt on, chances are you'd fly straight through the windscreen and smash every part of your body. But don't wear the seatbelt because you know, it might break your ribs. Nice one. Mm. Number 10. The speed limit is actually the minimum speed. If you're going through a residential area or a highly populated area, such as a town, a city, best thing to do is try and aim for about five miles per hour above the speed limit. And if you go through a rural road or, or a motorway, you should be trying to aim for about 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. Now this really does depend on how many police are in the area. So you really need to use your own judgment for this. Mm. That's all we've got time for today, folks. If you have any hated bad habits you'd like to share, pop them in the comments below. I can always add them to my next video. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. See you soon.